Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session we have seen the introduction to binary search tree. That means what is meant by a binary search tree. And uh, we have also seen what are the operations we are going to perform on this binary search tree. Now in this session we will go with the one, one of the operations that is insertion. binary search tree. So first one is insertion. So how to insert an element into the binary search tree. So based upon the root element, we will go with the insertion. So here, as we have discussed in the previous session, um, all the elements, first we have to set the root and all the elements which are less than the root will be inserted to the left subtree and whatever the, what are the elements that are greater than the root are inserted in the left sub, right subtree. The same thing will follow first step. So if tree is empty then consider the element as a root as a root if the element is greater than a root insert to right subtree If the element is less than root, insert to left subtree. So only three steps. So first we will find whether the tree is empty or not. If tree is empty, set that element as a root element and for the next insertion if the element is greater than the root the position will be on right subtree and if the element is less than the root the position will be on left subtree and we have to follow the same procedure for uh, right subtree and left, left subtree so while insertion to right subtree follow the same procedure while insertion to left subtree follows the same procedure. So first find out whether the left subtree is empty or not. If left subtree is empty, empty, then that element will be coming the root of the left subtree. So hope you understood. And if the element is greater than the root of left subtree, then that element should be inserted towards the right subtree of the left subtree. Right? So same process, the same three steps we are supposed to follow while inserting any element into the binary search tree. Right. So we will go with the example so that you will be understood. See. So we will take an element and we will construct a binary, binary search tree. So let's consider these elements. So now we will find the binary search. Now read the element and what is the first step? First we have to check whether the tree is empty or not. If it is empty, consider that element as a root node. 
so 40 and i'm taking the 40 so here that there is no tree so tree is empty 40 will be considered as root node so now 40 is a root node right next coming to 30 tree is empty no false go to the second step 30 is greater than 40 false 30 is less than 40 so 30 will be placed at left subtree position of 30 will be in the towards the left subtree so in that left subtree again we have to follow the same procedure so again in this left subtree tree is empty so consider this as a root element consider this as a root element yes coming to 20 again tree is there with the two nodes so 20 is not a root node 20 is compared with the root node 20 is less than 40 so the position of 20 will be on left subtree so in that left subtree again 20 is compared with 30 because that is a root in the left subtree so 20 is compared with the 30 so 20 is less than 30 so go with the left part of the subtree so again left part of the subtree is no element so consider this element and insert that element at that position right coming to 50 50 so tree is not empty 50 is compared with the 40 so 50 is greater than 40 so 50 the position of 50 will be on right side of the root node so right side right subtree of root node is empty so consider this as a root node and insert it 50 right coming to 60 so here 60 here 3 is not empty 60 is greater than 40 so 60 belongs to right subtree so in the right subtree the root is fixed in the right subtree root is fixed 50 so 60 is compared to the 50 so 60 is compared to the 50 60 is greater than 50 so 60 should be placed right side towards the 50 because it is a greater than root node the position of 60 must be at the right subtree hope you understood this one okay next is 70 tree is not empty 70 is greater than 40 so it will go with the subtree right subtree again in the right subtree 70 is greater than 50 50 is a root node right so 70 the position of 70 should be on right hand side of this 50 so right hand side of the 50 again there is a one more element called 60 again compare the 70 with 60 so again 70 is greater than 60 so 70 should be placed at the right side of this 60 so here the right side means right subtree okay right subtree 10 10 so here the tree is not empty 10 is compared with the 40 10 is less than 40 so it should be placed in left subtree coming to the second root 30 10 is less than 30 so 10 the position of 10 will be left side of this 30 right next again there is an element to the towards the 30 left that is 20 so again 10 is compared with the 20 so 10 is less than 20 so 10 should be placed towards left to 20 because left side the elements are less i mean uh, less elements right side it should be greater than root so next 80 80 so 80 is compared with the 40 greater than 50 so next root it will move to the next root 80 is compared with the 50 so greater than again it moves to the next root 80 is greater than 60 true move to the left side root so it is greater than 70 true so this one it will be inserted here so this is the binary search tree for the given elements see there are no there are no right elements in the left subtree and there are no left elements in the right subtree okay So hope you understood this one so just comparing the element with the root node just comparing with the root node we have to insert that element whether it in, in towards the right position or towards the left position right. 
So we'll take one more example. See, let us take this example. First, 50 is a root node. 30, which is a less than 30, it's a left subtree. 10, 10 is less than 50. So, 30, here we can write it 10. Then 60, which is a greater than 50, here we can insert the 60. 80, which is greater than 60, here we can insert 80. And 20, 20 means, see, 50, 30. 20 is less than 30 and we will move into this one 20 is less than uh, sorry 20 is greater than 10 so if it is greater than 10 it should be on right side so here it should be here okay next if you place 70 so 70 is greater than 50 so it should be towards right side tree so coming to the 60 sec, six, six, I mean 70 is a greater than 60 so right subtree. 70 is less than 80. So here we have to insert this 70. Right. If you insert a 55 element. If you insert a 55 element. So 55 is greater than 50. So it should be in right subtree. And 55 is less than 60. So it should be inserted here. Right. So I hope you understood this one. And if you insert 35, if you insert 35, so 50 is a root node. So 35 is less than 50 should be placed in left subtree. And 35 is greater than 30, it should be placed in right subtree, 35. And if you simply insert 5, element 5, so 50, 5 is less than 50. So the, we have to insert this 5 towards the left subtree. So 5 is less than 30, left subtree. 5 is less than 10, left subtree. Right. Here we have to insert. Right. So like this, we can construct a binary search tree by the given elements. So this is a nothing but an insertion. So how to insert an element into a binary search tree? So just comparing the root node. So recursively comparing the root node. So rather than comparing the root node, we can call it as recursively calling the root nodes we can find the position of the element where to be inserted right so hope you understood this one so let us move with the one more example and we'll wind up okay right we'll go with this example so these are the elements now let us find so 10 is a root element Right, 5 which is less than 10, so it should be placed at a left subtree, and 15 which is a greater than, so it should be placed at right subtree. 2 2 is less than 10, so it should be placed in left subtree, and in the left subtree again there is a root node that is a 5, so, so 2 is less than 5, so it should be again placed towards the right or left of the 5, and coming to the 8 which is less than 10 and a greater than 5. So here we have to insert this 8. 13 which is a greater than 10 and a less than 15. So here there is a one more root that is a 15 which is less than that 15. So it should be towards the left position. right? Next 19 which is a greater than 15. 6 which is less than 10 and greater than 5 and less than 8. So here we have to insert it. Right? So this is how we can insert an elements into a binary search tree. If you observe here, so our condition is consider the root node and all the elements of the left subtree should be less than the root node. See, if you consider this one, so this is the left subtree. This is a left subtree. So all the elements of this left subtree are less than 10. The condition is true. And all the elements of right subtree should be greater than 10. Yes, correct. And coming to this node, so this is the left subtree and this is the right subtree. So all the elements of left subtree are less than root node. So that means a 5. 
So 2 is less than 5. All the elements of right subtree should be greater than root node. So 8 and 6 greater than this one. Coming to this subtree. The left subtree must be less than root node. So 6 is less than 8. So the condition is satisfied here. Coming to this one. All the elements of right subtree are greater than root node. So 15, 13, 19 are greater than root node. Coming to this one. This is a left subtree. So left subtree 13 is greater uh, less than 15. Right. And this is one. Only one element. So 19 is greater than 15. So this is how it satisfies the binary search tree. So first we have to fix the root node. And based upon the root node, we will find the position of the element where we have to insert. If it is a less than then it should be inserted towards the left subtree and if it is a greater than it should be uh, inserted towards its right subtree and we have to follow the same procedure for inserting an element into the left subtree and inserting an element into the right subtree right so hope you understood this one if you are having any doubts regarding this insertion process feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my sessions like my sessions, share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.